Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be talking about how to make stacked bar charts and pie charts in Jump using Graph Builder. So this one's a little, a little complicated. It's not too bad. But let's say I have demographic student data. And in here, I have 145, I guess not all students, but 145 responses. Um, I collect information like their sex, age, height, whatever. Uh, but I want, I'm curious about how does eye and hair color relate to each other? So eye and hair color are both categorical variables. So I'm going to put one of these on the axis. Maybe we'll do hair color. I'm going to turn to a bar graph. I'm going to take the other one. I'm going to put that on overlay. Now I have three graphs next to each other. And I'm going to switch these style to be stacked. Bam. Uh, and maybe I want to turn this into the percent of the total. I don't know how we have... 250% of the total, that doesn't quite make sense. Um, grand total? All right, still doesn't add up to 100. Factor, there we go, percent of factor, let's go with that. I don't know exactly what it means, but it's definitely what I want. Um, so, that's it, this is the, the stacked bar chart. Uh, maybe I want to compare does the sex, uh, whether you're uh, male or female, uh, chromosomally, affects this or not. I can put these on different factors. If I were looking at different locations or sites or populations, I could use those to kind of wrap out my information here. Um, it's kind of interesting in that in this demographic, we see more blue-eyed men and more black, brown, eye and hair women. Um, I don't want to read too much into this. So different ways we can make this. We can also make a pie chart. So same idea, two categorical variables. Uh, I'm going to put one down here, turn it into pie chart, and then I have to group. Um, I probably don't want to overlay. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Um, but I would say just next to each other. Now we have two pie charts. And again, if we want to say we want to bring, um, does your earlobe attachment affect your hair and eye color? But that's it. This uh, we don't make a lot of these graphs this semester. When we get to aquatic ecology, there's some hope for this. But really, the key here is you need two categorical variables that you're measuring and we almost always have one continuous variable that we're measuring and another categorical variable that we're defining um, so thanks for joining me and we'll see you in the next video